everybody, my name is Josh Matacor, I'm a cybersecurity professional and a YouTuber, and today we're going to be talking about the CyberInch project. Uh, CyberInch project is just something we put together to give people a chance to get some actual hands-on experience doing cybersecurity with enterprise security tools in a nice shared environment with other people, uh, with the whole intention of kind of being able to bridge that gap between people not having experience and then having enough experience to be able to get a job, if that makes sense. And the reason I'm uh, making this video today is because um, there's like a hard limit, like the number of people who can join the cyber range is capped at 960 currently. It's like an actual physical platform limitation. And more people are joining um, than I thought, or rather they're joining faster than I thought. We're like approaching 700 members with a capacity of 960. So I thought I'd just like make this video and put it out really quick uh, to give people a chance to join because in April, we're gonna start raising the price. And if it actually fills up before April, uh, I'm gonna raise the price then as well because it's gonna be full essentially anyway. So there's also an internship component um, as part of the side range where you can actually do different activities to get experience to go on your resume and your LinkedIn, like the actual experience part, which will definitely help uh, with the job hunt as well. And the internship really does help a lot because I find myself doing like probably these days, at least two employment verifications per week from people who have been in the cyber range and did the internship program and then apply to jobs. And then the uh, employer like reaches out to us for employment verification. I've been doing like more and more of those recently and I've been keeping track of them on the site where you can kind of where you can kind of see a list of people who have gone through the cyber range and then gotten a job afterwards. And you can see their actual LinkedIn profile um, as they were a part of my company before like doing the internship who have gone on to like get other jobs. So uh, check that out, um, it definitely works really well. And the whole idea and the whole premise, I guess, of the cyber range is it mimics a, a real life work environment. Well, it basically is a real work environment. It's not like a flashy UI or anything like this. Basically, you, you log in as if you would at work. Um, it's delivered over Microsoft Azure, which is Microsoft's cloud platform. And it's like a shared network, like shared environment with other people. And our SIM, uh, we use Azure Sentinel as well as uh, Defender for Endpoint and a few other security tools like Tenable, for example. And we, we're all kind of using the same environment there's like hundreds of people in there and hundreds of virtual machines with people practicing stuff and it's uh, stupidly cheap and it's just put together really well in this video i'm just going to go everything that's in the cyber range uh, really transparent about it and kind of show you what it would look like um, as if you joined and show you like the classroom and like the interface inside of azure and tenable and like all that other stuff so you can kind of get a good idea of what to expect and if you're wondering if you can do this as a new person, like absolutely you can. Um, if you're like brand new, you're gonna have a, a bigger learning curve, but everything is like designed to guide you with like kind of step-by-step step, uh, of the things that you need to do to become like highly employable in terms of uh, IT and cybersecurity. Whoa, somebody just joined. So getting right into it, um, this is like the landing page, but after you join, it's going to look something like this. Uh, this is like the classroom section. I'll, I'll just go over this like really high level. Um, basically, this this is the first module to, that kind of will orient you. And I'll look and I'll show you something in here like really quickly. Um, basically, this is the the roadmap or the cybersecurity roadmap, and it's basically stuff that I recommend you to do to kind of become super employable, if that makes sense. And these are like the different steps that I recommend you to do while going through the cyber range. And each one of these steps has um, different proficiency levels that you can do them at. So for example, red, this is basically F tier, C tier, A tier, and then S tier or the best level of consistency or the, the best level of implementation for that step. So for example, in terms of consistency, if you're really consistent like three hours per day with no zero days, I would consider this S tier. And the idea is basically while you're doing the cyber range, you work to make sure all of these are, are approaching S tier or close to S tier. And when you do, you're like super, super highly employable, both for IT and cybersecurity as well. But there's a, there's a video accompanied with this, and this is just something you're, you'll watch eventually like as you're going through the cyber range. Um, this section is basically just like cybersecurity theory, like high level theory, like frameworks and regulatory compliance, this basic cybersecurity theory things. And then this one, vulnerability management with Tenable. This is like a full on vulnerability management course where we actually use Tenable, which is an enterprise vulnerability management software. And if you don't know what vulnerability management is, like don't worry about it. I explain it like in depth um, inside the cyber range. But basically, there's like a full on course here that shows you how to use Tenable, how to scan for vulnerabilities, how to remediate vulnerabilities, how to stand up a vulnerability management platform like in industry, like if you go to work for somewhere. 
and it just is really, really realistic and really in depth. And then this this whole course, this is like threat hunting, security operations, and, and incident response. And this one we go over a uh, SIM, that's S I E M, Security Information Event Management System, which is Azure, which is Microsoft Sentinel. We go over um, EDR, which is Endpoint Detection and Response, with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And we go over a few threat hunting scenarios, as well as some incident response in here as well. And it's just really in depth. It talks about the flow of logs um, inside of the cyber range. This might not make sense to you because you're, you know, essentially brand new still, but talks about all the different logs that we're bringing in, like how to query them and how to look stuff up and everything. And everybody is using the same environment. So there's like hundreds of people inside of the cyber range and all those people are creating logs. So you can create like interesting maps, something like this, like this particular one is just showing like where all the different members of the cyber range are logging, are from when they log into Azure, like the actual environment. So there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Um, it's really realistic and the cyber range is actually exposed to the internet where where actual bad actors are attacking virtual machines and we can observe the logs and kind of do stuff about it in like the incident response lab. So it's really it's really a realistic and really in-depth and the tools that we're using inside the cyber range are actual industry tools that you will see outside. So if you like search on Indeed, for example, for Tenable, which is our vulnerability management platform, like a bunch of jobs will come out and that's where you're gonna get like quite a bit of experience using. And then after the threat hunting and security operations course, there's the internship program. Um, this is where we kind of go over how to register and enroll in the internship. And we talk about how to do tasks to get credit towards your internship and like all the rules and everything and like how that works. Um, it's at your own pace and it's remote, of course. So um, it's it's pretty uh, low friction or like easy to do, I guess. And then finally, we kind of tie everything together with this like job hunt, resume, portfolio, et cetera. And you might be like, oh, like I know how to, to job hunt and how to apply to jobs, but there's like definitely ways that you can optimize it, which we talk about in here. And it just works um, really well. And there's also this community lab section. Um, it's a brand new, like I literally just made it, um, but we're gonna start putting stuff in here for community projects because the cyber range is like a, an open environment. Like it's a completely open work environment. So you can do more in the cyber range beyond what we put in the courses because you, you basically have admin access over a lot of stuff and you can do basically in any infinite number of things in here. Um, not just the stuff I outlined on the course, because it's like an actual realistic work environment. That's what it is. So people have been like making little projects beyond what I do. So I just, um, I'm gonna start posting them in here. Um, so that's just like something that you can uh, play with if you want. And also we, we do like a, a weekly live call, like two hours uh, every week where you can join and then you can talk to me directly and ask me questions. And I'm not like the, the smartest person. There's some really intelligent, like experienced people who joined the cyber age for some reason. Um, I'm really thankful to them because um, they make the group call like really fun and valuable for everybody. So we have like a private call um, every, every week. And I'm, I'm on tie time, so this might look slightly different to you. Oh, I guess it's Saturday, like 4 p.m. But a lot of people asking me for one-on-ones a lot, but I, I can't just do one-on-one -on -one with people. It's gonna be really expensive if I do that. Um, but with this way, we can have like kind of a smaller group and um, people can ask me anything they want like directly. And then there's other people there, of course, but it might be, it's more cost effective than buying a one-on-one -on -one with me. So getting into like the platforms, like how you get access to actually use Azure and like use Tenable, like the, the hardware platforms that we use. Basically what it looks like is this, um, you're gonna be in the classroom and then say you start doing the vulnerability management course. Um, eventually you're gonna like learn some stuff in here and then eventually you're gonna get to a module where it's like requesting access to Azure and Tenable. And then it there's some instructions in here, like how you request access. And then when you do, you'll get some kind of emails uh, that look like this. One will give you access to Azure and the other one gives you access to Tenable. You're gonna get uh, credentials and then instructions and then you can just basically log into Azure and it looks like this. Basically, these are all the different virtual machines like a lot of the a lot of the members have. Um, currently, it's like 250 virtual machines. Um, you're allowed to like create a virtual machine and you have like literal admin access over your virtual machine. So you can do anything you want with it essentially. Um, but we use the virtual machines like in conjunction with Tenable for like, like scanning your virtual machine, like scanning for vulnerabilities or remediating vulnerabilities and a bunch of other activities and tasks you would use with virtual machines. But you basically have um, 
you have access to a lot and you won't be able to do a lot of damage like i locked down the permissions uh, enough like just like it works so you can't completely destroy things but you can be like uh, you can kind of affect other people's stuff just like you could do at work if you wanted to but and then these are all the cyber range users um it's showing 451 because not everybody who's in the cyber range went through the act of provisioning their account yet so it's showing like less than 600 but um this is them and then Tenable looks like this. It's a Tenable vulnerability management platform. So if I sign in, you might not know what you're looking at, but I'll just like show you a bit anyway. So if we go to scans, for example, which are my scans and then all scans, we can kind of see uh, these are all of the scans. These are all of the scans that have been run and that are currently running inside the cyber range. So here's an example of results for one of the vulnerability management scans. I'll just like talk about it a little bit just for fun. So. These are like all the, the weaknesses or vulnerabilities that was discovered by the scan engine. And then if, if we click on audit, we can see this is for one of the CyberRange members uh, virtual machines that they scanned. These are a bunch of uh, STIGs that it found. Uh, STIG stands for Security Technical Implementation Guideline. And we can kind of see like some that passed, some that failed, some warnings. And basically these are just, it's like a benchmark or a list of things that you can do to make your virtual machine or your computer more secure. And then you can kind of scan it, see what came back, and then you can kind of work to implement these things to make the computer quote unquote more secure, if that makes sense. This is something that you'll run into a lot, uh, especially in Depart Department of Defense, they use DISA and STIG a lot. But yeah, that's the vulnerability management platform. There's like quite a bit you can do in here and the, the course for this is quite extensive, but I just kind of wanted to, uh, show you i guess what it looks like when you log in and stuff and then this page is basically a list of people who have either gone through like the previous cyber course or the cyber range and have gone on to find jobs afterwards um, people who were part of the internship program so i can put a link for this in the description but you can just see the url here and then you can you can see the different jobs that people have the, um, this this list is incomplete um, not only because we didn't update it but i don't know like absolutely everybody who's like gone on to get a, a job but I just did my best to to kind of put this together and like keep track of people whenever they told me. So you can like um, see, for example, you can see like the type of the job they got and then you can actually s click on their LinkedIn and then you can see, for example, um, like the job they had before, their internship experience at my company, and then like whatever job that they got after the fact, um, if that makes sense. And these are all people who have done the internship in like one way, shape or form. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely respond to all of them. But yeah, otherwise, go ahead and uh, join the cyber range if you feel like it. The seat's going to like run out eventually anyways. Um, anyway, it's going to get full. So if you're interested, you might as well just like uh, join it now while the price is still low. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I'll see you in the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, it's a Yeah. <laughs> It's just a normal thrill. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, throw the, throw the hard one. Wait. Throw it to me. I tried to catch. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad aim.